We're back. We're back. Are you recording. I'm recording. Are you doing? Uh, uh, let's click the let's click the the screen. Let's let's beat up some trainers. And while we let's... click the screen, you should click that like button. That's a uh, that subscribe and like. Have button. we ever yeah. have we ever made the like button joke? I don't think we've said like button yet. Well, I think we've said subscribe, but maybe not like. Yeah, like, share. Uh, I don't think favoriting does anything, but do that too. Just to be safe, yeah. add it to the watch later playlist. That that's one you don't hear very often. Oh my gosh, I do that all the time. Oh, I need a bike. I like. I'm, I'm... I fall asleep, and I have my phone next to me, and I'll like roll mm -hmm. over, and like randomly click stuff. I'll wake okay. up and my watch later folder is just full of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> my watch later folder is filled with a lot of things but like it's filled with a lot of things that i'm just like oh this is kind of cool maybe i do want to watch and i never end up watching or it's stuff that i like i i immediately watch any anyway but i watch later it just in case does watch later like delete it once you've watched it or is it just a normal no it playlist? doesn't it just it's just like a normal play it's just a specific playlist for if you want to watch this later which is eh voltorb man yeah this guy i don't know has a lot of voltorb never really used youtube playlists i get why they're there like i wouldn't say oh they're useless remove them it's just i've never felt the need to hmm there we go. Okay, just doing some technical things there. Just clicking on some buttons. But did that say magnemite? Magnemite? It's just a magnet. How is that an original Pokemon design? Uh, no, it's Gen One. You can't make fun of it. Oh, you're right. I'll make the babies mad. I I'll make the man children mad. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Catholic school. It's like, should you be showing this to kids that young? Is that good or bad? I don't know. Hmm. That's not my decision. Definitely... Yeah, actually, you know, that is an interesting topic about, like, Catholic... Because I think Catholic schools are, like, you know, whatever, just, like, religious schools. It's so interesting to me, because I think, like, most of the people that go to them aren't necessarily Catholic. It's more just they're born into it, but they haven't really had the say as to whether they want to be and i think that's a big reason as to why and just how they're structured as well and they teach some things i think that's a big reason why catholic school isn't the best at getting people to you know join the faith yeah it's weird because i grew up in one but my parents yeah, we, we, aren't you, yeah. yeah but the viewer doesn't know <laughs> oh yeah i guess i guess um oh he didn't say i grew up in one or... And, like, my parents were never really religious, and I stopped believing in, like, early elementary. Who is... I never knew this girl was here. What the heck? Anyways, keep on going. But it's, like, I just kind of accepted that it existed and never really believed it, which is probably not what they were going for. But I feel yeah. like I talked to a lot of people who went to that school who just had the similar experience, and they say the same thing. Hmm. That's like, I don't think, unless you're in like, because there are probably, like, ours wasn't that strict. I'm sure there are yeah, still, no, like, oh yeah, no, for sure. ruler. Like, definitely, like, if you went there. back, like, two, two or three decades, there would be more, like, strictness, I think. Yeah, I think if you're in the strict one, maybe it's different, but I think with more modern Catholic schools, unless your parents are religious, I don't think they're really going to convert you. I think... I'm like, that's like capitalism. Yeah. Whoa. No, I hate capitalism. <laughs> really? Yeah, this is a political episode now. Uh, Bernie should have won. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I mean, I'd say it doesn't really affect us, but we're Canadian, so it 100% does. We've been doxxed. <laughs> We've been doxxed. Now, now that everyone knows, we can finally start saying A in every sentence. <laughs> you know, that's... Canadians do have accents, and I don't, like, we don't have any American viewers 100%, or maybe we do. If you're out there, ah, uh, hi. Your country is kind of in a bad state right now. I hope you can work through that. Leave a like but, um, if you can get through the chart embers of your target to your computer, and, uh... <laughs> Did you just say charred embers of your target as in, like, the store? Yeah, one burned down, like, forever ago. Really? I didn't know that. I don't I don't listen to the news that much. 
I stopped oh, my... recently, but yeah, there's a... We have problems, and they're good now. Yep, they're good. It's Everything is hunky-dory. I can't hear audio anymore. Uh, is it still... Is you, do you still get the gameplay? Like, do you... Yeah, the, the gameplay is working. Oh. oh, just not the... Oh, that's weird. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll check the recording after this. If it's missing, that sucks. <laughs> We'll put uh, a royalty free something there. Yeah. Uh we uh we could have put in uh curb your whatever. No, that gets you striked. Yeah, that gets you strike now. Da -da 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 -da. I remember when that day. It sucks because you know we got into like some deep discussion there and then that <laughs> Oh man. We can, we don't have to cut the whole thing. We just oh, of course. It. I'm I'm not I'm not saying we have to. I just I think but it's now funny. We're completely sidetracked. Yeah, no. <laughs> Any yeah. point we were making is null and void. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> represent the views of the channel, the people on the channel. Uh, you doesn't represent you either. Yep, that's that's true. Uh huh. Um. Yep. Also, whether you this... like it or not. Yep. Why does this little kid have a zigzagoon? <laughs> In this electric type gym, he just has a single zigzagoon. Like, what is he doing? Why are you running? Is the real He question. just got lost. He's waiting for his dad. Now that he killed his pet, he's doomed. <laughs> he's doomed. No, then he just wipes out and heads back to the Pokemon Center. He's fine. Yeah, but you can't use the Pokemon Center until you're 18. <laughs> oh, wait, then how can we use it? We're 10. That's what they want you to think. Maybe you have a point. The big wigs at Poke Ball Street. <laughs> Poke Poke Ball Street. What would the Great Depression be like for uh, the Pokemon world? Uh, I'm not sure. Could Pokeballs even... be considered currency? Because they're pretty necessary for in order for society to run in the Pokemon world. Yeah, but you can make them out of, like, berries and stuff. That is true. I guess... Huh. That's... That's kind of interesting. I don't know anything about the stocks, other than how they operate back, you know, back in the 20s. Uh, Wall Street is run by a bunch of Redditors. And, no, uh, 10% of Wall Street is run by Redditors. The other 90% are the people you should be mad at. There you go. Yeah. It's the only time Redditors have ever done anything good. <laughs> anything good. Oh, my goodness. I can't, I can't believe it. We're talking about... We, we said it. We, we said the R word. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> <sighs> oh, well. It, it, was in it. it was inevitable. We kept a streak of, like three episodes of not saying it so <sighs> oh well hey sometimes that happens you know sometimes, sometimes you mess up yeah and you just we gotta make a serious and continuous, continuous lapse, lapse in our judgment, judgment. <laughs> sometimes you make mistakes and you just gotta press on that is that's kind of, you know that that's that's a good words message to live by words to live by also and why if is you he live here? by those words be sure to subscribe Huh? <laughs> Be sure to subscribe. Uh, the man that talks to you about, you know, like the gym leader and the types and whatnot. Like, usually he's here or he's, like, in front of the columns. He's at the side now. That's kind of weird. He, like, I uh, slipped and sprained his ankle, so he has to lean up against the wall this time. Honestly, this is just going to be a sweep with Rapids. We don't have much competition otherwise. We can't. I was thinking of having shot put out for Voltorb, but Rapaz is just better because only if a crit if we die, and even then he has Sonic Boom, which might screw over shot put. Honestly, let's just let's just get right into it. Let's let's go to Watson. I've given up on my plans to convert the city I have, and so I put my time into making door traps in the gym. Oh, now what are you doing? What's that? You say you've gone past all my rigged doors? <laughs> now that is amusing. <laughs> He's becoming I Eggman. can't believe this. <laughs> then I, Watson, the leader of Marvel Gym, shall electrify you. Get a load of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I like I like. Where Do you that think went. there's like ever been like his doors are electric, so if a kid like tripped into it, he'd die, right? Well, do you think they like he'd get have sued? lawsuits? Um, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> when you get your first badge, you have to sign like a liability a contract. Yeah, you have to sign a waiver. A um, waiver. That... Well, as a waiver, not a waiver. <laughs> He just holds out, like, a Eucharist <laughs> chunk. He's like, I need you to sign this. It's like, there's not a lot of room. <laughs> that, uh... So, oh, the faster. Okay. So, okay. The scary thing there would have been if Sonic Boom hit, and then he used Self-Destruct. But, it's a sweep. We're fine. Magneton comes out, but he has nothing... Scary, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, he's fine, he's fine. Also, we didn't even over-level for this. <laughs> I started 23 as we entered with uh, Rapis, so... <laughs> so, it's, you know, Mudkip and Some Marshtop... Some of the coolest and the greatest. Yeah, we... That's why Marshtop is just so good, I guess. I'm gonna, oh, one level away from Spark. And then, hey, that's Spark is pretty decent. And we beat him. Get the Dynamo badge. Wow. Isn't Dynamo Pokemon now? No. Tynamo. It's like a... You're thinking of Tynamo. Yeah. He's an electric isn't it like type. like a tadpole? Yes, yes. The electric tadpole. Little ditty. Yep. Yeah. I know Pokemon. A couple years ago, I could probably do a couple of them perfectly, but I've, I've got dementia now. Yeah, that is bad. That I can probably, out. like, uh, same thing, I could probably name, like, pictures, but, um, I, I'm confused, right? like, what gen oh, everything's right. from now. I If it wasn't, like, a part of a team I used, oh, I'd okay. mix it up. That's fair. I, I mix up a lot of Gen 4 and Gen 5 Pokemon. That's probably my biggest gap, because I played Gen 4, like, once when I was tiny, and I haven't played Gen 5. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, good. Cool. I was like, because Watson doesn't give you Rock Smash, you have to talk to this man in the house. Which, I mean, eh, it's not bad. I kind of wish they gave you more direction, because at least in, uh, Rushboro, it was, like, the Cutter's house. Here, it's just, there's no title, there's no sign saying, oh, this is the Rock Smashing house. It's literally, it's just... <laughs> it's just a house you have to enter. It's weird playing a new Pokemon game and then an old one, because the old ones, like, you had to kind of explore and talk to everybody to figure out where everything is, but the new oh, one's yeah. just, like, a straight path from beginning to end. Yeah. Honestly, I like the older ones in terms of, like, exploration and just how, like, a lot of areas you can go further than you think. Because here's, like, I think the big thing when it comes to, like, because everybody wants open world Pokemon games, but honestly, I don't even think Pokemon has to become fully open world in order to, um, be enjoyable. Or to, like, evolve, I guess, in a sense. I there just... was a really good video by, uh, Yurik Salad Bar. Uh, he did all those Oni animations that... I've shown you, but he does his own stuff oh. now. But he did a really good dissection of, like, how to make a Pokemon game more interesting, and he brought up, like, an open... Not open world, but, like, a do-it-at-your-own-pace kind of Yeah! With permadeath. And, like, trying to make it all work, so it was a lot more interesting, and I really liked his idea. Oh, yeah, no, I... Like, honestly, I just wish with Pokemon they they added more to the sense of exploration and that, you know, you can go anywhere. Like, not necessarily that you have to or that you should, but that there's a lot more freedom as to what you can do. Because I feel like a lot of the newer games, other than just the main quest of, you know, becoming the champion and the gym leaders and whatnot, and, like, completing the Pokedex and, like, maybe the enemy team, there's not much else to the world. Whereas I feel like with the older games, they embrace a lot more of the, uh, like, the catch em all sort of there's more than just battling you can do yeah well i th i feel like in general like most of the newer games are like it's a cookie cutter setup 
Yeah. Like, they change what they call a gym, but it's pretty much always... Do the gym after you get, like, two badges away from the Elite Four. The evil team has its climax, and then you win. You want to know what I really want to see in a new Pokemon game? I want them what? to s not remove gyms, but I want them to change gyms. And, like, because I think type, like, having gyms based on types is kind of boring. Yeah. But the big thing that I want to see is, like, more theme type gyms where, like, oh, this, this trainer uses a lot of, like, maybe, I don't know. Certain evolutions, so friendship evolutions, stone evolutions, or maybe it's a weather theme gym, and then the gym leader's a weather caster. Or they make it so that you can get gym badges by doing side quests. Because I always remember in the anime, like if you ever watch the Indigo League, Ash gets most of his gym badges not by actually beating the gym leaders, but by just helping them out in a task. And I think that's really cool, because it makes the world feel more like real yeah like, that's i've heard gem F gen 5 did a good job of making all the gym leaders feel like characters but pretty much everything else if they don't have like a memorable design you kind of just forget yeah. about them after you win yeah like unless it's r34 bait or um <laughs> yeah that's basically it <laughs> have you seen well, that's like <laughs> do you remember half of the sword and shield gym leaders if they yes. don't get a ton of fan art yes it's just like, you have the one half of gym leaders that absolutely nobody cares about, but then you have, like, the, the two that it's, like, like Bia or B and the other one, the F Nessa, the Feet one. Like, it's just kind of crazy. Also, win straight house. Um, we could probably just destroy them with Marsh Tomp or Rop is. is yeah, it is oh, yeah, I forgot about that place. Yeah. I remember as a kid, I always had a hard time, but now it's just like, oh, wow, I'm so big brain. And, yeah, we, we kind of balled this episode. We did a lot. Might not seem like get your Get your bags packed for the next thrilling episode of our Sapphire Nuzlocke.